welcome to my video um, there's some message on the comments asked to review about the camera functions I try to take some picture it seems like it doesn't have the function to move those picture over to SD cards and I plug it to my iPad Pro this is the M1 version with 5G by this USB connections and it doesn't detect anything. I put into my window 10 device still it doesn't show up anything. Not sure I need to install PC suite because it didn't show up anything here. Even go to the system device manager so let's take it out it only takes 32 gig of the sd cards i have some spare here which i use for the e camera as most of the things i store on the couch This is how it looks like, the picture quality. This is pretty blurry. So, this is my pet. Actually, it's my daughter pet. Um, it just feel like very poor quality 52 kb and when on the setting is already choose the good good resolutions or high resolutions if you can see this hello kitty toys I try to pair up with my iPad Pro via the Bluetooth but it doesn't able to send any files to my iPad so I don't know what to say this one is just like a toy uh, I buy it because uh, I bought it because I used to have the 8 to 10 back on 1999 when I was like teenagers so when they said they launched this feature phone and it's just 65 pound and I bought it I didn't tend to use it as a backup phone or whatever I just buy it because it's cheap and I like the first version because when I bought the first versions while I was 17 years old on 1999 it was 1350 ringgit is about 240 pound and on that times it's about 1% of the house price where I live but today this one just 65 pound include VAT 20% if you can reclaim the VAT and call functions and so on is not relevant because nowadays I don't make any call I don't even answer the call on my landline so I use the iPhone 13 Pro Max 512 which is I can remote start my electric car on the winter I can warm up my car or I can log into online banking I can log into whatever apps I need and mainly I 
use the message so iMessage it can link to all my i device and use the apple watch 7 if i need to use the apple pay functions this 8 to 10 even with 4g is still a bit like not useful but if you want something that can ring and send normal text messages maybe this is the phone for you um let's see this web page i put the sim card with data plan it still can go to facebook look we need to allow the cookie and Google's this share item it can be sent by bluetooth so the windows computer cannot detect it ipad won't detect it as a storage device so i don't know It's just a toy for me, so if you have more questions, I try to answer. But for this price, £65, you can buy this iPhone 7, which is a lot better for the money value if you, or even the Android phones, £65, you still can have a lot of functions compared with this. I don't know what to say about these things not so great if you want you can buy it for daily use if you have basic phone call only someone prefer just text message or ring ring your friends but most of my friends on whatsapp or iMessage facetime and 23 years ago is a different story so This is the picture quality. Um, I just show you on the the SD card. Fifty two KB, and hope this expand demonstrate the quality of the photo. But I think people who bought this phone. They are not keen, they are not intent to use it as a camera, they just use it as a normal phone and texting. Spare phone while you go holidays, remote area, you need two weeks of the battery life, which is can, it can last for two weeks, but I in doubt because it just depends how heavy you use this item. So. For better value, buy or use iPhone 6, 7 or even Android if you need ordinary use but if you want the basic one, you just go for this or if you buy this as a collector items, then yes it just depends the user requirements and yeah, pretty much that's what I can say and thanks for watching